Okay, this is our first seventh chord video. Uh, things you need to know before you get started on this series. You gotta know your key signatures. Really, really important. You should know them very well. Uh, you've gotta understand what a spelling versus a voicing is. You've got to know your four triadic harmonies and the degrees that make them up. So major, one, three, five. Minor, one, flat, three, five. Diminished, one, flat, three, flat, five. You've got to know your triad spellings from a chord symbol. So if I were to write an F minor up there, you would need to tell me that F, A flat, and C are the notes that make up uh, that particular triad. You need to diagnose a triad from note stacks to determine the chord symbol. So if I wrote three notes up there, you'd need to be able to tell me the chord symbol that uh, those three notes represent. And uh, finally, the diatonic triads or the triads that are in a key. So you've got to know all seven of those in order, you know, what's the two chord in the key of A flat, B flat minor, you know, you got, you got to know that quickly, okay? All right, so once you've done that, if you don't know that stuff, you got to go back to those videos and go through that series, the triad series. <clears throat> okay, so four triadic harmonies. Uh, now we're going to talk about seventh chords. So if you recall, uh, when we wrote out the triads, we would write out a major scale, and we would take one, three, and five. So using that tertian harmony, where we'd go from one, then we'd skip over two, take three, skip over four, take five, stack those up, one, three, and five, uh, created a chord. Then we'd go to two, four, six, etc. cetera, uh, but one, three, five first, okay? And that gave us four different harmonies. So we had major, minor, diminished, and augmented. Now we're going to bring that seven over. So if we continue that tertian harmony all the way up the major scale, one, three, five, and now seven, we bring that over, and that's going to actually give us six different possibilities for harmony, okay? Six different ways of organizing those four notes. Okay, I organize these, this is the way I was taught by a really great jazz educator uh, at my junior college, believe it or not. Great educator at Cabrillo College named Ray Brown, uh, really brilliant guy. I think he's retired now. He was, uh, he was 70 or something when I went there, but he could hear everything. He was amazing. Uh, and he organized it this way. So we have major third type and then minor third type. So ones that have a three and ones that have a flat three. Okay? There are three major third type, three minor third type. Let's go through the major third type first. Uh, from most common to least common, we have major seven with a one, three, five, seven. Okay? That's straight from the major scale. So we just write the major scale, we generate the one, three, five, seven, and that gives us our major seven chord harmony. Dominant seven, we take that major seven and we flat the seven, and that'll give us a dominant seven sound. Uh, should be playing these. Then we have an augmented seven, okay? Take the major seven, we sharp the fifth, and we flat the seventh. This isn't quite as common until we get to our uh, extensions. We'll talk more about this one. This is kind of a clunky way to say it. Uh, it's not very elegant. One, three, sharp, five, flat, seven, Yeah. So I'll, I'll uh, give you more of my thoughts on that when we get to our extensions and alterations. Then over here on our minor third type, uh, from most to least common, I suppose, I hope you can see this in this green. Uh, one, flat three, five, flat seven is our minor seven. So that's like the most common seventh chord probably, you know, you might say. One, flat three, five, flat seven. Minor seven, flat five. So it's the same as a minor seven, but it has a flat five. One, flat three, flat five, flat seven. Um, and this is also known as a half diminished chord. You may hear people call it that. Uh, and then our diminished seven, okay? One, flat three, flat five, double flat seven. So the diminished seven has two flats on the seven. Uh, it might seem strange to you, but it makes sense if you were to look at the diminished scale, okay? So those are your uh, uh, are your six different type of seventh chord harmonies. And uh, we're going to go over uh, how to write those in the next video.